Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters, Book 4. So we're playing as Saga. And we need to look for a way to see the wards. I guess so that we can hopefully defeat them and actually leave the house. I'm sure that was me who made those scratches. I remember being scolded. And it wasn't just the one time. Uncle Gallus brings new books all the time. But I always finish them long before he comes back. The good ones, I read three or four times. I can't remember the last time we lit a fire. We used to do that all the time. Roast marshmallows and sausages and tell scary stories. But, yeah, things changed. Happier days, before I was around. Maybe if I hadn't been born, Mama would still be here with Papa. Oh God, Saga. That's gotta be a terrible feeling. That's weird. Papa's usually so fastidious about keeping his eyeglasses with him at all times. Ooh. Maybe the eyeglasses lie to see the wards. I'll just borrow them for a minute. Or twelve. Find the first ward. Uncle Gallus brings new books all the time. My window looks out to Letoch, but this one's tuned to where Mama was born. It's nowhere close to Scotland. The seasons are similar, though. Just more extreme. Hugsy! I've had Hugsy since I was little. Mama gave him to me, and I remember falling asleep, hugging him tight every night after she went away. It's the comfy chair. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Can I... Put on the glasses, or do I have to use them on something specific? Ah. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, I see one of the wards. So that's how Papa maintains them. The magic's in his glasses. I mean, of course it is. It's dab magic. Still, it's pretty cool. Uncle Galath helped put these wards up after the last time I went walking. Papa claims they protect us, but all they do is keep me from opening doorways. They don't trust me. <laughs> Careful! Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, did I break your head? Yes. Do you have to carry me across the threshold? We'd be tempting fate if I don't. We need to do this right. Watch your head now. There, we have officially moved in. Welcome home, sweetheart. Oh, my head's hurting. Let me kiss it. Where does it hurt? There? Mm, that helped. Oh, she's moving. She's kicking, Magnus. Here, give me your hand. Can you feel it? She's happy to be home. Hello, Saga. Welcome home, baby girl. Balance. So, that's what the wards are made of. Fragments of the past. Memories. No wonder they're so strong. They're charged with powerful emotions. Some might be red herrings, though, to make the wards harder to crack. I need to untangle the specific memories that tie the wards together. Easy. Hmm. Saga, no, don't draw on the floor. You might damage it. This house is sacred. It's a living thing just like you and me. You must never hurt our home. Can you promise me that, baby? So I guess I've got to link the right ones up. No, Foxy! You killed Foxy, Papa! It's just his arm. I didn't kill him. I just... I... I maimed him slightly. I'll sew it right back on, okay? He'll be good as new, I promise. Poor Hogsy. He'll never be the same. He'll be a cripple. He's a survivor, just like us. He'll be fine. Magnus. 
Magnus, Saga, look! Snow! It's snowing! Beautiful. First snowfall in our new home. The first of many firsts. I hope you grow up to love this house, Saga. We built it for us. For our tiny family. Look! Etta, she's smiling! I think she understood you. Please, I'm not in a state to be photographed. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's the first week in a brand new home. This, this needs to be commemorated. Oh, I feel so bloated. Fine, just let me... There. Ready. Hurry up. Okay, so which one... Like, which ones do I need specifically? When we were listening to this word up here, it sounded like they had just come home for the first time, and Saga was not born yet. So this one, this one would definitely match. Because they're commemorating coming into the home. She says she feels bloated, so she's probably still pregnant with Saga. How many times do I have to tell you, don't put your hand in the fire? But look, it doesn't hurt me at all. Saga, stop, I don't care, you can't. Look, if someone saw you do that, it's, it's dangerous, do you understand? No one else can know. No one. I'm pretty sure that picture over there is the only one where Sokka wasn't born, though. But it can't just be that one. Are there others throughout the house? So I figure it's probably only in that one room, right? Yeah. Hmm. Could try activating them all and just <laughs> see what happens. I'm sure I have to do similar things with the other wards. Let's listen again. So after listening to it again, I think it's anything that has to do with... when all of us were together, all three of us. And if you remember before... I mean, this was a long, long time ago, but when I was playing the uh, past books, we played a saga before she was a little baby, and I don't think she could speak. I don't think she was capable of talking. So in this fireplace one, you hear her talking. So that can't be the one. In this one, the scratches, we don't hear her talking, and we hear the mother talking to Saga, so I'm going to say this is one. I think, yeah, the Hugsy one, we did hear them too. We heard Saga. Magnus, Saga, look! Snow! It's snowing! Beautiful. First snowfall in our new home. Yep, there we go. Okay, second ward. Might be in here. Probably the kitchen, though, but let's check. Ooh, I saw a light over here. Is it, is it coming from behind the door? Oh. There's another ward. The house will draw us both back if we ever get lost. That's what it does. It's what it's for. And you're sure we can trust it? Are you questioning my building skills? I don't want to lose you again. You won't. It's safe to leave, Etta. You'll find your way back and we'll be safe here. Both of us. All three of us. When that one arrives. Oh, and not a moment too soon. I am so over being pregnant. Speaking of which, I'm starving again. I'll make stew. Please don't. Okay, also... Pre-Saga being born, and when they're all together. When's Mama coming home? I honestly don't know if she ever will, sweetheart. But she is out there somewhere? I think so. Then again, if it's pre-Saga being born, that'd be the same thing as the last room. Maybe it's just any memory that has to do with Etta leaving and waiting for her to come back. 
She's sleeping. Oh, that's so cute. Your music lulled her to sleep, honey. <laughs> I didn't think my guitar playing was that bad. I was going for rousing. Well, it hasn't put me to sleep yet. Come here. Come here. I'll go with that one. We have to wall it up, Magnus. It's dangerous. What if Saga... I know. I will. I promise. Tomorrow after you've left, I'll get right to it. Could there be more like it? More gaps? More... I don't know, Etta. I hope not. I'll take care of it, I promise. I really don't want to leave right now. You'll be back soon. Everything will work out. The house will take care of us all. Hey, is there anything you want me to bring back this time? Do we have to talk about that right now? I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't like it when you leave. Huh. It feels different from some of the others. I wonder if that's a different leaving, because one of the others, you know, she was like kind of worried. And, and he was saying like, you'll be fine, you'll find your way back. And this one, he's like angry that she's leaving. Or disturbed. It's odd. I'll mark it for now, though. That doesn't feel right. I don't think those are the right memories. Okay, yeah. Does Papa know you're here? I don't think Papa knows. Don't worry. It'll be our little secret. So maybe... It's these three. That didn't work. I may need to pick different memories. Hmm. This ward is about loss. They used Papa's and my memories of Mama to leave the ward. There's pain here. And... and anger. Ah, there we go. Upstairs? I'm not seeing a blue glow. Oh. I believe that's the final ward. She's so perfect. I could stare at her for hours. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I go in here just to look at her. She is perfect. You leave him before she wakes up? I have to. While the paths are still there. They're stable now, but that might change. I can't risk waiting. Watch over her for me, okay? Keep her safe? Of course. Always and forever. I promise. Come here. I love you. Always and forever. And I'll be back. I pinky promise. So, Galath wants to say he's visiting soon. That's good, right? We haven't seen him for a while. It's good. I just... Sometimes I get the feeling he only visits because of Saga. Well, he is her godfather. He adores her. Just be grateful she has someone to talk to, Magnus. The stars know she must be sick and tired of us. Why is it called home, Wart? I'm always home. What do you mean? Why is it homework when I never go anywhere? I think it should be called just work. Ah, uh, good question. And you're right. 
I need you to clean up and then do your work. All right? But how can I paint a rainbow if I haven't seen one? I can't paint something I haven't seen. And I'm not allowed to go anywhere, so I'll never see one. Uh, there are pictures of rainbows in your books. Can't you paint from those? It's not the same. I want to see a rainbow with my own eyes. Oh, it's red and blue, just like my drawing. It's exactly what I wished for. Thank you, Papa. You're welcome, baby girl. So I think this one has to do with happy memories of Saga. Ground control to Major Tom. Who's Major Tom, Papa? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Where did you hear that name? I think it's a traveler who travels to the moon. Like Mama. I don't think Mama went to the moon, Saga. But you know what I mean. Someone who travels far away to see new things. Like uh, an adventurer. That was sort of a good memory. Sort of not. Okay, this one definitely is, but we need three. This one's definitely not happy. School. Um. Okay, I don't think it is. I think I was wrong about what it is. Nope. This ward's woven for memories of my life. I guess that's why it's the most powerful. This is all about Papa keeping me safe here. In this house. Forever and ever. I think it is these two. The stars know she must be sick and tired of us. And then maybe this one? Yes. That's all the wards, and Papa's still asleep. He won't be happy when he wakes up. I need to get out of here before then, or he might lock me in the downstairs for a week. So I'll just open a doorway and... It's not working. Why is it not working? All the wards are gone, what's stopping me now? What's blocking My you? Find the final ward. Warm. Wait, am I glowing? The necklace is a ward? My pendant's all glowy. Okay, that's new. It's so cool looking. It's cute. I used to play with that all the time. When I was little. Yeah, I want to take a look around. I haven't taken a normal look around. I don't play with the dollhouse anymore. I know it makes Papa sad, but I'm not seven. I've grown up. Look at those, like, frosted windows. They're gorgeous. I'm getting better. I'm not good yet, but my work's improving. I should be on track to have my first exhibition by the time I'm 18. The painting makes me think of April. Is that April? Can't really tell. The madame comes by every month to grade my assignments and give me new ones, and Papa's in charge of my homeschooling, but I've learned more from Uncle Gallus than from the two of them combined. I love learning about elsewhere and elsewhere, about crossroads and the ether, and all the worlds in the multiverse. It makes me want to go walking and explore everything. Gallus gave me that years and years ago. I don't wear it. I mean, I don't understand the deal with all the hats. Hats must be fashionable somewhere in the multiverse. Rocket ships ferry astronauts between worlds in at least one of the angles of the ether. Sounds like a fairy tale to me, but Galath swears it's true. The light's coming from inside the pendant. I know. They're probably going to give me a lot of hints to use the glasses. I remember Crow, but I'm pretty sure he's not real. 
and that I never met him. Crow? I mean, I went walking for the first time when I was seven, but I drew this before that. So Saga does know something about April. I can't remember whether that was revealed the first time we played as Saga, because it was so long ago since I played that. But yeah, there's some connection between Saga and April. One of these days, I'll pick up on that whole become a singer-songwriter thing again. I just need an audience to play to. Papa rarely plays the guitar. I think he used to play a lot, back in brighter days. But like with so many other things, he's just lost interest. Whenever one of the walls needs repairing, Papa uses that. He says he'll teach me how to do it, but he hasn't gotten around to it yet. This has been gathering dust since Mama left, so almost 13 years? I guess Papa hasn't had the heart to get rid of it. We don't go away long enough to need a suitcase. I mean, I've gone walking for days, but I didn't exactly plan that ahead of time. Or pack. Papa went ballistic every single time. For when the paths are stormy and the turnstiles still open. Is it my turn to sweep the floors again? I've lost track. We've not been keeping up with our sweeping itinerary or any housework. What's wrong with that hat? I think it's just like a weird corrupted shadow thing. I'm trying to get Papa to stop wearing that hat when he goes out, but he insists. He doesn't realize how goofy and old-fashioned it makes him look. For when the paths are muddy or snowy. I always hated the downstairs. It's pitch dark and it smells funny. It's got ether vapors and void beetles. It's not a good place to hang out. The paths are wobbly, and the custodians temporarily closed the turnstiles. No one's coming in or out. But who needs the common paths when you can make your own? My chest feels warm. Wait, am I glowing? Oh, the pen is an item now. Can I combine them? Or something? This is for you, Saga. It belonged to my mother. Keep it close to your heart and know that I'll always be thinking of you, no matter where I am. Even if I'm... Oh, baby girl. You don't understand a word I'm saying. But you will remember when you most need it. Don't let anything or anyone hold you back. All worlds, all of time are yours to explore. And as long as you are this, I will find you. I promise. Thank you. I love you. Goodbye. Saga? Saga? Saga, where in the world are you? Saga? <laughs> Balance, no, please, no. No, her as well. Don't take her from me. Please don't. I can't do this again. I cannot do this again. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Saga. the end of book four. All right, let's see what decisions we've made. Ulvik was arrested by the Azadi because I failed to return the pipe worker's tools. I can only hope that he won't be further punished for my inattentiveness. 
44.4% made this choice. I told Brian Westhouse about what I was doing in the abode and about where I'm going. Should I have done that? I'm sure I can trust him. 39% made this choice. Huh. I didn't think there was much danger in telling him that. I mean, I didn't... Uh, I didn't leave him alone in Abnaxus's abode. Couldn't let, I couldn't let Westhouse stay in the abode by himself. I was entrusted with the key and it would have felt weird to leave it unlocked. But Brian seemed a little put out by that. 68.9%. Okay, I was in the majority for that one. Against Shepard's wishes, I brought Liko with me to Guillen. He was a good companion, and he proved himself useful. But I hope his absence from Markyria did not cause the Resistance any problems. 73.4% Liko and I had time to connect during our journey to Guillen. I feel we're closer now, and that we may even become friends in the future. 80.5% Inu was seriously hurt in the attack on the Enclave, but Naani, uh, but Naani was there to heal her wounds. The Zid will survive. Inu's fate is closely tied to Naane. Your choices in Book 2 will play out in the final chapters. I made a choice back in Book 2 that had to do with... Naane? I don't remember. I do remember seeing Naane before. But I'm just happy that... Inu, Enu, however you pronounce the name, is alive. Because they're adorable. <laughs> and they're awesome. 68.6%. I revealed some of my darkest secrets to the Yaga in order to make her give me the Soul Stone. And now it's like they never happened. Like they were merely dreams, slowly fading to nothing. 77.2%. Yeah, I kind of regret that. I mean, I guess it's not the biggest thing, but... They're gone. I didn't know that telling them would rip them out of Zoe's head. Well, it looks like it's just going straight into book five. So in the interest of not messing up my ordering and numbering for these episodes, I probably should have just called the whole series Dreamfall instead of separating it by book. I guess that made more sense when all the books hadn't come out, but now that they're all out, it's kind of like, why bother? <laughs> it's kind of just one game now. But in the interest of keeping that where it is, I'll just end it here, say thank you for watching, and I'll join you on book five.